YouTube and uh, miscell miscellaneous uh, video viewers. Uh, this is Chris. Thought I'd do a uh, music update. You know, mostly vinyl, mostly folk, but you know, there's miscellaneous uh, selection in here to uh, start off and ease us into this. Um, first was a cassette that I got recently. Pete Townsend, Another Scoop. This is 1987. If this was vinyl, I think it'd be a, a two CD, a two LP set, but one tape. So uh, I may have seen this recently uh, shown by Hannah, the Omaha introvert, which might have uh, convinced me to pick this up, especially at the, the right price. Uh, then a uh, classic rock CD. This is Jethro Tull. Nothing is easy. Uh, live at the Isle of Wight. So this is a CD plus a DVD combo. So two discs. Uh, this is put out by uh, Salvo. Sound and Vision. Uh, this was issued in uh, 2004. 1970 concert. And another CD set that I picked up recently based on some other people showing this. Um, Dolly Parton, Amy Lou Harris, and Linda Ronstadt. Uh, the Trio Collection. So this is a three CD set, which includes uh, Trio 1 from 87, Trio 2 from 80, 89, and then a third disc of unreleased and alternate takes. So I've got Trio 1 on uh, vinyl, and I've got a CD of Trio 2, but you know, the additional disc of alternate takes and unreleased tracks uh, convinced me to pick this up. Uh, this was put out by uh, well, Rhino. Rhino, Warner Brothers, and Asylum teamed up on this. Put out uh, 2016. And then I recently picked up this uh, Folks at Wake the Vaulted Echoes. This is a, a celebration of Peter Bellamy, put out by Free Read Records. So this is a three CD set. The history of uh, Peter Bellamy from uh, the young tradition to the uh, his solo career afterwards. So. UK folk musician Peter Bellamy. I've shown some of his uh, some vinyl that I picked up from him uh, recently. I think I also got a uh, Young Tradition uh, LP and a Young Tradition CD. So Peter Bellamy. Uh, this was put out in 1999. Three LPs of folk music, some of it unaccompanied vocals, but folk. And that's enough of that for the moment. Um, some vinyl folk. Alfred Deller, Western Wind. Uh, this one is. I think 1959 on Vanguard. Tan Vanguard. So, folk music, vocal and guitar basically. 
singing uh, Western Wind and other English folk songs and ballads. Alfred Deller, countertenor with Desmond Dupree on lute and John Southcott on recorder. And another album by Alfred Deller, more traditional folk music, The Three Ravens, also on uh, Vanguard. I think this one's 1955, unless I've got the two years reversed, but 55 and 59. So uh, this one is just Alfred Deller, countertenor with Desmond Dupree on guitar and lute. So, uh, Alfred Deller, um, his voice sort of reminds me of uh, John Jacob Niles. You know, it's sort of a unique sound to his singing. Uh, Barry McGuire. May recognize him from the Eve of Destru Destruction. He was with uh, uh, New Christie Minstrels. This is Star Folk with Barry McGuire, uh, 1965, on the Surrey label. So, sing some uh, hits of the day. Puff the Magic Dragon, Greenback Dollar. So, uh, and we, we jump up to the uh, late 80s, the Bobs, 1987, I think. This is... Uh, Vocal music it has a warning here. All sounds on this record come out of the mouths of the bobs or other parts of the bobs' bodies. This is on uh, Great American Music Hall. The Bobs. Uh, title of this album is My I'm Large. And I also got this one. This one could be their first, maybe their second LP. Um, I also got this CD by the Bobs, Too Many Santas. This was put out by Rounder in 1996. So this uh, appears to be seasonal music with lots of uh, Christmas songs. Mambo, Santa Mambo, Christmas in Jail, 50 Kilowatt Tree. So sort of uh, light-hearted Christmas music. with a, a vocal only approach. Then an album that I didn't realize that I was missing, a classic prog rock, Argent Nexus, uh, 1974, Rod Argent, formerly of the Zombies, on uh, this orange epic label. Nice one to fill out, Argent. Um, some 60s pop, Brian Highland, Tragedy, whoa, 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 Tragedy, a million to one. So, singing uh, songs of the day. Uh, he covers uh, Walk Right Back, which Gary Lewis and the Playboys did. 
uh, See the Funny Little Clown, which was a Bobby uh, Goldsboro song on the uh, dot label. Mid to late 60s, I think. Blue Sky Boys on uh, Country. This is from 1976. They had retired from uh, singing or performing in uh, 51, but in 63 they got lured back into the studio and uh, put together this album. So some classic uh, country duet, bluegrass backing, the Blue Sky Boys. Andy Stewart sings the songs of Scotland, a Scottish soldier. So 19... forget early six maybe 63 uh, white label promo on epic but this is sort of a big band uh, folk song so not really what I was uh, hoping for This was more of what I was hoping for. Richard Dyer Bennett. Uh, I guess this is self-titled on Archive of Folk Music. also has sort of a unique voice. Again, reminds me of John Jacob Niles. Uh, but vocal with guitar accompaniment, pretty much. So, so this one would, turned out to be pretty good. And then some uh, slick, uh, you know, collegiate folk. Big Brothers, Big Folk Hits on Columbia. Mid 60s. You know, just do. Uh, you know, Silver Threads and Golden Needles, 500 Miles, Walk Right In, El Paso, The John B. Sales, If I Had a Hammer. So, all the normal folk songs of the uh, mid-60s. Um, picked up another Oscar Brand, Body Songs and Backroom Ballads. This is Volume 3. You know, I had... I had the other volume, so I was kind of forced to get this. Uh, this is on uh, this gold audio fidelity label. Another mid 60s, early 60s issue. Alan Stibble. Journey a la Maison. So, this is on uh, Rounder from 1981. I think it was licensed from some other label. Kelcha 3, maybe. But even though this has vocals on it, it's sort of like an instrumental album. Um, Alan Stivell playing... Uh, vocal, harp, bagpipes, 
flute, making the arrangements. So enjoyable folkish world folk album. Um, Alex Bevan. The Grand River Lullaby. This is on the uh, Fiddler's Wind label. Nineteen seventy-seven. So some of this is just uh, guitar vocals. Some of it has ba band backing him. It's kind of uh, slick. Wasn't really folky enough for me, so I don't know about that one. And the last several. Uh, this one, Dolly Pardon. This was an upgrade. I consider an upgrade. I had a cassette of this album. Um, Real Love, 1985, Dolly Parton on RCA. But the music is sort of like the, the cover, you know, it's you know, very faint, not uh, real substantial, uh, has a duet. On the title song with Kenny Rogers. Nothing else that really stands out to me. Unfortunately, uh, this was another upgrade to a cassette that I had had uh, the Smith Sisters, Bluebird. This is a Flying Fish album from 1984. I had a case of cassettes that got uh, water damage, so I lost all the artwork and some of the cassettes got all moldy, so I don't remember if this is one that I was able to salvage, but at least I have an album. Um, somebody wrote on the back here the name of the two sisters, Megan and Debbie, so I don't know if it's an autographed copy or not, but Signed by someone. Uh, Doc Watson makes an appearance on this. This is, you know, again, more uh, folky, bluegrassy type uh, music. The Smith Sisters. Holly Near. You can know all I am. This is on um, Redwood Records. So sort of uh, women oriented folk. 1976. Um, I also picked up this uh, cassette. Kay Gardner, uh, Fisher's Daughter. This is on Even Keel records put out in uh, 1986 Kay Gardner primarily plays uh, flute on here again sort of women's oriented uh, music and the artwork and the title make it look very folky she also does some more meditative or new age type 
music. One's even solo piano. Uh, Teresa Troll, The Ways a Woman Can Be. This is on uh, Olivia Records, 1977. This is the first album that I have with Teresa Troll as, uh, you know, as the lead or on her own. Usually she's been a supporting musician, like with Barbara Higby. And then the last of this batch, uh, Chris Williamson. Live Dream. This is also on Olivia. Nineteen seventy eight. Now, this says it was actually the Dream Machine was the uh, label and it was distributed by Olivia. Chris Williamson, she's on uh, vocals, guitar, twelve string guitar, I think. And then June Millington, who was at, uh, in Fanny at one point, she's uh, electric guitars. And then last two, getting back into more normal classic rock stuff, Johnny Thunders and the Heartbreakers, live at the Lyceum Ballroom, 1984. So this is uh, probably something that uh, Flipside CT inspired me to, or reminded me to get. So ABC Records. Johnny Thunders, formerly of New York Dolls. Uh, he's joined here with Billy Rath. Walter Lure, I think I saw, either I saw something on YouTube about him or it was uh, Steve at Flipside CT that, uh, you know, explained about him, and uh, Jerry Nolan on drums. And then the last bit of vinyl uh, soundtrack, Ghosts of the Civil Dead. Uh, Nick Cave, Lixa Bargeld, and Mick Harvey, all related to Nick Cave. This is uh, 1988 on uh, Mute. So that was uh, the music update. Folkish, vinylish, but not strictly so. So thanks everybody for watching.